Hey guys, Sir Shrimp Midget here doing a really quick video on this uh, Crossman Trash Shot Shotgun. Now I have a uh, UTG model and pretty much they're identical. As far as internals and the same thing with the Trash Shots by uh, Double Eagle. They're all Chinese Trash Shot Shotguns. Um, I had an old uh, single shot shotgun from Double Eagle and it broke pretty quickly so I would probably stay away from Double Eagle. I know it's a completely different system between the tri shot and the single shot but I feel like you, uh, Double Eagle's uh, quality control is not as good and their prices I think are a little bit lower and I think that's why. Um, some people are like, oh, Crossman sucks kind of thing. This thing is basically identical to a, a, a UTG and UTGs are really good. Um, this is my brother's. He's never fielded or anything. Um, forget where he got it. I have no idea where he got it. I think he got it in a trade, like something like that. Um, anyways, I spray painted it. So um, let's go over the uh, shotgun here. Uh, we'll corona it here later. The shell that it comes with is a 30 round shotgun shell. Um, you can get aftermarket ones uh, for my shotgun. I have a UTG uh, long barrel shotgun with the adjustable stock. Um, that I have one of these shells for and I have two 14 round shells for that were for my old double eagle so they're compatible with the double eagle single shot ones um, so just go out and look for these find them buy them they're nice I've never had one not feed even the double eagle 14 round ones feed fine um, so let's go over the shotgun itself so here it has the pistol grip um, no stock uh, so this is something that uh, you can sling over your body. That's why I put a, made a paracord sling. Um, it's a one point or a single point, whatever you want to say. Um, so I really recommend getting some paracord because you can make something like this for dirt cheap. I mean, this could be good for a zombie game. Um, if my brother ever goes to a zombie game again, I'll probably go with him. But this is probably something good for him to use, but he probably still uses Polar Star. Or if he just wants to kind of screw around, take this. I'd take my shotgun. And I take my uh, KJW P226 with my belt ring and Serpa. I think I had. <laughs> um, anyways, so it's it's like a gray black snake skin. Um, I did gray. It was clear at first. So I did gray. I did, and then I did black snake skin, and then I did like three layers of clear coat. So the paint is sticking on this one really well. On mine, not so much. Although I did the same type of painting on that, so I'm not sure what's up with that um, my, although I've used mine a lot more than he's used this so okay so um, the body's plastic really everything externally is plastic except for the outer barrel the outer barrel is metal and then the shell tube is metal I'm not the whole thing is metal the whole shell tube is metal here which obviously doesn't hold shells on well, this on airsoft it's not a shell ejecting or anything. Um, so that means the pump's plastic. All the internals seem to be plastic. The sear's plastic. Um, it works though. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and go shoot this. Well, let's go over the features, I guess. Um, right here is this uh, tab. You pull it back, and the shell door actually pops open. And then you put your shell in. And some of them, if you pull it back all the way, the shell will actually drop out. So you can do kind of a tactical reload type thing. Um, so let's go ahead and shoot this. So I have a shell full of .2s. Sometimes the pump won't go forward all the way, and I'm not sure if that's just the way the gun is built or if it's because of the paint, possibly. So, And also, this has been thrown by Alec, um, my brother, on his channel. He did a video um, that will probably be coming to his channel soon. He hasn't uploaded it yet, but he chucks the thing, and the body actually pulled out, and I hit it back in. So, let's chrono it. Point twos. See what readings we get. 250. I think there was a blank there. I don't think it shot all three. Let's try that again. Two, yeah, 224. So it shoots 224 when all three BBs are shot. Mine shoots about 280 when all three BBs are shot. So mine shoots harder, but when it shoots harder, it gets a bigger spread. And it's not as a consistent spread as this one. And then 225. So that's very consistent. 225, 224. So they're going to be at that range. 
just above 200, so... Is that bad? Not really. I mean, if you get hit with all three BBs, you're going to call it. I mean, I got shot with this thing in the face, and it didn't feel good. So, that was yesterday, actually. So, let's go ahead and shoot this. I'll actually wrap my arms around the camera. Um, this is about 70, 80 feet from the targets. Oh, they go down. This one doesn't shoot as far as mine. That was all three. Hit it. This is very, the, the pattern is very nice. Whereas with mine, it kind of goes all over the place, which I guess is kind of not bad. Try to hit the steel. Got it. A few of them hit the steel. Again, this thing is much more consistent. Again. If you go watch my shotgun uh, gameplay, my friend used this. And now I know why he hit me so easily. Because all you have to do is aim up. That oh, only shot one. So, um, whereas with mine, mine was all over the place. And I think it's because it shoots harder. Don't know if I've ever cleaned the barrel on that one or not. So let's go and shoot this thing some more. Still point twos. Point twos are what you need to use in these shotguns. Now with mine, mine might work better with point two fives, but... Maybe because mine shoots much harder. Not much. Again, that only shot one. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just not pumping it all the way back. So not bad at all so if you're looking for a shotgun look for bravo shotguns crossman shotguns and utg shotguns i'd say utg is the best um, but i really haven't had i think bravo they're all see they're all chinese they're all the same system for the most part they're all the same but uh my local store which is closing down soon carried the bravos for a little while and i think my brother actually bought one for there and then they traded it off. So um, they have full stock models. They have adjustable stock models. They have long barreled models, short barreled models, pistol grip models. So they have a lot. That only shot two. Also, I did white dots or white lines for the sights. Don't know if you can see that. So it's much easier to see. I'm going to shoot from behind the camera right now. Nice, so, I mean, it's it, it can be hard to pump also. So, if you're a little kid, you're not going to be able to pump this. It's even it's not easy for me. I found out that the best way to pump these type of things is to push forward. So when you fire the pis or the rifle, um, I guess this could be centered, but I guess this could be considered a freaking huge pistol. Anyways, um, but when you cock it, it's good to push forward. So take your hand and push forward um, and pull back at the same time instead of just pulling back. And when you have a stock on your shotgun, it's not good to put you know, it into your shoulder and pump. Because, like I said, it's good to push forward. So what I do with mine is, I mean, I take my shoulder off the stock and I push forward and cock it. And it's much easier to do that. So, again, if you have any questions, just comment below. Like I said, I recommend these. Um, I'd say go with UTG. They've been around, I think, the longest um, when it comes to these. I think these are TM clones. I'm not totally sure. Um, also, the safety is right there on the uh, pistol grip. All of them are, most of them are like that. I think all of them. Mine's like that as well. So, if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, otherwise, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Um, tell me what I did wrong, I guess. <laughs> so these are great options for zombie ops. Um, secondaries for snipers. Um, or just fun. Or CQB type things. So, if you have any questions, please just uh, comment below. I've said that like three times.